up everybody how's it going let's get into a love reading i'm going to do a love life and a karmic reading tonight let's get into that so you came here for a love situation so whatever um person you're here for this is going to be their feelings for you and then we'll get into some cards Connecting with the collective. See how your person. Ooh. Cancer. Okay. So they could be a cancer sign or like a sun or a moon. They could be a cancer survivor or currently dealing with cancer. Blocked. No contact. On a break. Needing time to heal or figure out what we want. No communication. So I think this is a sign. You could be a cancer. Your person could be a cancer. Um, you're in separation from this person. Tempers flared. Things were said or done. And there's a break. You are beautiful or handsome. So they do find you physically attractive. Pregnancy soon or quickly. Ooh. Maybe this person wants a baby is giving you an ultimatum. <laughs> or is trying to keep you with a baby. If your relationship is turbulent. You could have just had a baby. I tell my friends and family about you. So they could be telling people that they see you as their baby mama, baby daddy as their husband or wife you're all i ever wanted you're this person's dream maybe you're on separation because uh they're in a oh hello <laughs> i fear you will reject me and i don't know if i can handle that so that's a lot of the reason for the silence why are you taking so long to realize what this connection is you just think I'll be here waiting for you like a lost puppy. I'm done meaning nothing to you. I deserve better than what you're giving me. Okay, so this person blocked you because you're breadcrumbing them. You're not giving them what they feel they deserve. Touch my body. Ooh, <laughs> Mariah Carey just started playing in my head right now. Good song. Um, this person definitely wants to do sex with you, collective. <laughs> yeah, this person could be chasing you at this time or want to, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that some of them want you to chase them. I forgive you. Please reach out to me soon. Yeah, they definitely want you to chase them a little bit. You feel like home. Like, I feel like this person has an energetic pull or like a galactic pull towards you. They try to confuse me with sex and broken promises. I'm starting to see it now. They're that you're true and they're not so uh, this person could be realizing that their karmic trapped them with babies or you're realizing your karmic did at this time or this is like a general realization within this love triangle every time i see you with them it hurts i can't get over you you haunt me so i think they see you with somebody you have kids with and they either are on to the fact that this person just like every time you're about to break up this person gets pregnant basically you scare me yeah this connection definitely scares this person it's very cosmic it's very otherworldly it's very intense more intense than they've ever felt before i dream about being with you definitely sex dreams but like this is life stuff too like having a home with you building a family with you you're married so i won't make a move i think you're happy and content with them exactly so they're saying quiet and trying to move on because they see you with someone um they think you're happy they don't see any potential or possibility here for you two to be together let's see what's going on um with your person at this time what's going on with your person at this time Ooh, right in my lap <laughs> passion yeah this person has a lot of sexual passion um, they could be connecting with you in the 5D or just having a lot of passionate fantasies and dreams about you. They are highly sexually attracted to you. That's not the reason why they left or ignored you or moved on. Um, 
they will always have a passion for you. They just don't see the potential of this ever getting off the ground, I'm feeling. What's going on with this person? At this time, the collective person. Oh, I thought one popped. <laughs> Fair male, lighter than darker. So they do see you um, as a good person. Overall, trying to do the good thing. I don't feel like they see you as a user or anything like that. Mature woman. Yeah, this person, um, they know their worth. They know their stature. This, I feel like, is a divine feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. We did have a masculine come out first. It's like they ha um, know their worth. They want to settle down, and they feel like this person... Um, this fair male, this masculine energy might not be ready for that or can't offer that. Yeah, so this person's looking for a new love. They're looking for a life partner um, and to someone to have a kid with. They want to make a kid out of true love. Um, they want a true, yeah, they want their twin flame. Maybe they thought you were their twin flame, but you're married to someone else or with someone else in this person's eyes, so... Maybe they might be viewing you as a false twin flame or like a soulmate energy. And they're con probably at this time convincing themselves that you aren't um, their original twin flame. They're trusting the process. You have to trust your gut instinct as well. If you are still hanging on to a connection out of comfort and you actually want this person... And you're putting energy into this as in you're thinking about this person all the time. You're fantasizing. That's giving this person your energy. It's giving this person hope. So if you don't want this connection, I think you both have to work on getting out of this fantasy bubble. Because it's getting, it's getting you caught up. It's getting you confused and tripped up. It's like this person is trying to move on and trusting that they're the right person Um it's out there, but they're still also looking back, hoping that you catch up, trusting that if you're the one that you're going to present yourself before the right one comes, there's like still a lingering of hope. And you're trusting that, you know, everything, I don't know if you're just trusting the people, the, the advice you're getting from other people. Let's see what's going on with you right now. What's going on with you, Collective? Memories. Okay, so you're reminiscing. You could be reminiscing about your marriage and when it was good and why you thought it was all lovey-dovey. Or you're thinking about this connection with this person. If you have a past with this person, you're heavily thinking about it. Contemplation, yeah. I think most of you are like, why, why did I get into this connection that I'm in, this karmic connection? I think you two have a very strong pull, and it's very hard to explain. It's like cosmic, like I said, like a twin flame, like a like effect here. But I think you're realizing that you need to make a decision. You can't live your life in daydream and fantasy while you're with someone else. It's not fair to you or your other person. You're giving your energy away. That other person that you're with, the karmic, is probably feeling a dip in your connection. So there's like this... All right, I need to make a decision. So, oh, hello. <laughs> Acceptance, yeah, you're accepting that at this time. I need to realize that this person ha is a stronger connection. It is a real connection, and I, I need to look at what I want from this. And I feel like this person has also um, gotten to this point with, with this connection. I think they're a little bit ahead of you in the fact of, well... They're not putting in the energy. They're not giving into this relationship. They haven't put any emotion in it. I think it's time to let go. I think it's time to accept that this person, I'm not this person's pick. And it breaks my heart, but I have to accept that. I can't just keep waiting. So you're in this energy of, I need to figure out, I need to accept that I want another person and realize what that is to me, whether I'm staying or going. And your person over here is realizing that you're, you aren't in, in love with them. If you were, I think the decision would be easy in their eyes. But it's not often easy like other people think, like especially if you have a family and stuff. Yeah, you're both turning away from this connection. I feel like you're in contemplation mode. I think the best thing for you two to do right now is really decide what you want. Either give up and let go of that hope 
and stop giving it that energy or put your energy towards the input motion in it.